little test here. I don't have this centered. I just drilled a hole. In you can tell that's not centered. It's shaking everything. Plus, this ain't mounted to the bench, and I don't want this thing flipping over on me. But I've got my massive drill on here. I have my big giant six amp monster hand drill there. But this isn't centered. I just did this real quick just to see how tough it was. But if you look at this and look at this, the lathe is running pretty centered, especially for this being wobbly. I need a piece near that. I should have, for a video, I should have had this more centered. But if you look at this right here and look at this. Tell this piece I made wobbly and the wood's wobbly. You can actually see the wood right there. See where it's not, where it goes downhill. Get this back on my little grinder things here. This is just a little tool I made. I made it actually for plastic. I made my little disc on my mini grinder. It's just welding rod. I have heated it and dunked it in cold water. It made it a little bit harder. Here's a little tip I'll throw in here. This is that. Uh, Molded weld stuff. Oh, trying to think of the names. JB Weld makes makes it, and this is better. Better. This is actually harder than the JB Weld. Then I had this other brand that I used, and this seemed to be old. I've had this weld. This seemed to be old. This was really hard to knead together. But the other one's the same as JB Weld. You'll see the brand name. I like that quick still better. It's a lot tougher. I've experimented with both of them. But four minute ball, poke your hand on there like your needle files. I have all these little sets of files. Just take the one you they're all the same. Just poke it in here before it cures. And make it a little handle so it don't jab you in the hand. I may someday get brave enough. It's only four dollars a tube. Uh, need one whole bunch of it together in a big ball, make a shifter knob, or like a pistol grip. You can put the finger grooves. You only have about five minutes working time. Uh, once it's mixed together, once it's mixed together, it feels a little warm in your hands. And I always wear latex gloves. And if you do have a little water on your gloves, it doesn't get so sticky. When it starts getting, to grab some water and put on there. But that makes a mess of it too, because then it makes it all sloppy. So you're kind of in between of how to do it. I wouldn't use my bare hands on this stuff. It will not come off. I got it on my hands yesterday, work with some, and I scrape with a knife blade and hand cleaner. A good quality hand cleaner. But that little tip I'll throw in there. Makes nice little stuff. Just grab it, knead it. And when it's hard, it's hard. It's not a hard as steel. But it makes a nice little hard little handle on something. You make your own custom little handles. But Enough of that video. This does show slower on film than what it is. This thing's really spinning. For my camera, does not want to show the speed of it. Here's the drill wrapping out. Don't do this at home. There's supposed to be a tool rest. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't have this keep this from jabbing it through my hand. I'm hiding behind the camera, plus with my goggles on. You should have a full face shield. I plan on doing this. I have a full face shield if I do this. I have my goggles on. Do not do this at home. Warning. Danger. Sound like the robot. Danger, danger. You got a fly bother me here. But that's it for this little video. I almost could kill a fly on video. I knew it was not my light out there. Fly season outside. Thanks for watching. This is just a short little test video.